Hello friends. In this particular video, I am going to discuss one very interesting code and that is for a particular hash map, if you are having multiple values for a same key, then how you can design that particular hash map, okay? That is for a particular key, if you have multiple values, then in that case, you can use this kind of algorithm and code. See what I have done, import java.util.star, import java.io.star, that necessary packages you can import, util is needed for hash map, io is needed if you are taking buffer reader, okay. Then public class main, this is our main class, and then public static void main, string args, as we write always, throws io exception, okay, as we are using buffer reader, so obviously we have to write this to avoid io exception. Then buffer reader r equal to new buffer reader, new input stream reader system.in. We are creating the object of the buffer reader class. And see here the most important part. Hash map. Here in this side, if you want, you can write map also. That may be hash map, linked hash map, or pre map. But in the right hand side, you obviously have to mention the particular map type, right? So map string. So my key is string. But observe the value. Array list string. That is array list of type string. So my value will be one list basically, okay? So key is string, which should be unique, but values con may contain multiple times for a particular same key. So that's what I have done. I have taken array list here, okay? For storing the values. A, A is our map name. That is variable name. New has map. Then write the same string, array list string, okay? That's what I have written here. Then int temp equal to zero. This variable will be zero until and unless we want to come out of the code. If we want to continue, then every time we will make this temp as zero only. So the code will go like this while temp equal to equal to zero. String ts equal to r dot red line. Okay, we are taking the particular string ts uh, uh, from the user. Okay, which is going to act like key. And then string r is equal to r dot read line. This will act like value. Then what we are doing? If a dot contains key ts, that means in our hash map, if already a particular key is present, what we have to do? We have to just add that new value rs in that value part of the corresponding key, right? So what we are doing? Array string b. We are basically creating a reference variable uh, for array string, which will basically next time point to the value part of the key b equal to a dot get ts. What I am doing? As my key is already present, so I am taking the whole array list of the corresponding key in the b. That is, b will point to that array list. Then b dot add array, rs. So in that array list part, I am adding my new string rs, which is basically value. And then again, I am putting that in my hash map, a dot put ts comma b. That means now the corresponding array list to this particular key, which is ts will be updated and rs will be added in the array list part, right? Else, else means the particular key is new to the hash map. Then what we will do? We will simply create one array list and we will put the rs that is the value part in the array list and then we will put that array list as key value pair in the hash map so a dot put ts comma b a is our hash map see a is our variable name of hash map so a dot put ts comma b and then for the next iteration we are making b equal to null okay so that we are basically this is kind of acting like this destructor right it is destroying the uh, object b okay for the next iteration so that we can use b okay then system dot out dot print ln do you want to continue if yes enter zero else enter one okay so if you enter zero again the same code will run else it will uh, be one and while temp equal to equal to zero condition will not be satisfied it will come up out of the while loop if it comes out of the while loop, simply print system.out.println a, okay? So let us run the code and observe the outcome. So see, so I will make like this, suppose uh, 
I am taking first key is suppose Satadru. Okay. So first key is Satadru. Suppose this consider the situation like this. Uh, many persons are talking in a particular WhatsApp group. Now uh, each time a particular person is talking, giving some response. So what do we want to do? We want to basically group all the responses given by a particular person. Then what we will do? We will we can make the person name as key and all the responses as values. So suppose Satudra is taking by telling hi. Then do you want to continue? Yes, zero. Then suppose Sahil is telling hello all. Then again, suppose Mayan. Mayan is telling good afternoon. Okay. Then again, suppose Satadru is again telling what about the current status of the ongoing project. He is asking that. Then Sahil is responding I have completed it, completed my part and sent for review to Jatin. Then again Satudru is telling fine. So there was a good conversation and now I want to break the loop. So I am writing one. See what happened basically first Satudru told hi and then Satudru told what about the current status of the ongoing project and then Satudru told fine. Sahil told hello all and Sahil told I have completed my part and sent for review to Jatin. Mayan told good afternoon. So this according to name what, is, what was the conversation if I want to group or make a cluster see it will do if I click enter see Sahil equal to hello all I have completed my part for and sent for review to Jatin. Sadhadru hi what about the current status of the ongoing project fine Mayan good afternoon okay so this is how see for a particular key suppose Sahil see for a particular key multiple hellos one is hello all Another one is I have completed my part and sent for review to Jatin. Then next key, Sadhadru. So for the particular key, Sadhadru, multiple values, high is one. What about the current status of our ongoing project? Second, fine is third. Okay. So like that it will work. For a particular key, if multiple values are present, then you can use this particular hash map code. Okay. This is all for my this video. Thank you for watching. And I am going to post the same code in the comment section. If you want, you can check there. Thank you.